How's it going? Back again with me, Princess Tasha, with a new video. Let's find out today, how do men secretly view you? Alright, now in front of you, there are three beautiful pictures or cards over here, okay? I have be authentic, love is in the air, or know your worth. Now, using your intuition, please pick the first group that comes into your mind. Please remember, everyone, that you are welcome to pick other group for additional messages. All right, I'll see you on your reading. Hi group number one, welcome back to my channel. Back again with me, Princess Tasha, with new video. For this video, we're going to find out how do men secretly view you. This is the card uh, that I already prepared for you, okay? The pile. Since you're picking group number one or be authentic. This is your card. Okay. Before I begin, a uh, couple things. If you are... Uh, new here please make sure you subscribe to my channel and and also please make sure you click the bell button okay click the subscribe button and click the bell button so you will never miss any future readings from me and if you are a returning subscriber hi guys welcome back i'm so glad to have you back here all right group number one please be mindful that this is a general reading it's about how do men secretly view you and not necessarily defining who you are as a person this is pretty general so take what resonates okay but if you want private reading just for you please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading you have here be authentic with number 38 wow look at this look at the picture you know with the be authentic you also uh, hold this mask and there are a lot of masks around you um and you know you appear very beautiful here or gorgeous regardless of your gender you have that handsome that beautiful energy group uh, number one with be authentic i feel that for this group men secretly view you as someone that truly have different version than other people you have a unique side about you um that is so original this is about their secret thoughts about you okay they secretly view you as a very unique person group number one have you noticed that you have different versions of yourself because men secretly view you as someone that can give a lot of different version. Now, this a lot of mask over here um, can means that it can means that um, you can give different versions. It depends on um, who you are, or it depends on uh, the person that you talk to. But uh, it depends on the situation that you're in. Okay, uh, men secretly view you as someone that can be a boss that can be your own boss but also another way you can be a parent or can be a children now men secretly know that you you're someone that sometimes always have mask on you know a mask on like um there is this 
personality that you build in order to make other people feel comfortable with you most of the time it's about you being very courageous being very hardworking, being very reliable you know so you can be the one that people depend on um, people can rely on you people can depend on you and most of the time that's all the mass and just whenever you are alone then you can dance freely you can be yourself and you can dance freely you don't have to always be in obligation mode in a survival mode you know just when you are with yourself then you can just be free um you know dancing around and being so authentic just yourself so that's men secretly view you like that there is this uh, society burden society obligations that you need to carry on your shoulder uh, that make you uh, be very responsible because you have a lot of chores a lot of obligations or just a lot of going on in your life but men secretly view you as someone that actually have different layer you have multi-dimensional personalities or you have other version of you that waiting to come out only with the people that you feel comfortable with or whenever you are alone or when you with the one that you love the most so men secretly view you as someone that um, has more than what you let the world see inside of you you have a lot to offer from the fun side and not just from the responsible side not just being responsible not just being the adult not just being the one that other people can rely on not just being the nurturing person but also you can be the fun part the wild side of you okay the wild side of you willing to come out um, and most of the time you just want to be authentic you just want to be original you know group number one it can be very challenging to be authentic when you are afraid that you will be judged for who you genuinely are so i feel that some of you you feel sometimes people judging you or people people um, expect uh, for you to do certain things above your standard um, that you feel that you need to um you know keeping up with the genesis you know something like that but know for the fact that you are beautiful for who you are and you're allowed to be happy you deserve to be happy in your life you deserve to have your fun side to have your wild side once in a while group number one okay keep in mind that you are not alone that even the universe conspire to help you if you want it the universe will make your dreams come true god your angels the divine will help you making your dreams come true if you want it because you have a pure heart you have an original and authentic heart now with this card as well um it's, it is the time for you group number one to stop caring because men secretly view you as someone that very nurturing but you can can um, go beyond your limits sometimes and it can uh, it can it cannot be good for you in the long term in the sense that you cannot pour into an empty cup you cannot pour from an empty cup I mean okay you cannot pour into an empty cup from an empty cup you need to make sure that your cup is fulfilled that you are happy that you feel refreshed that you feel satisfied with your life and make sure that you're taking care of your heart because most of the time you know people not gonna really that care over your heart over how you feel and i'm not talking that you're just very sensitive or overly sensitive no because if we replace the situation if we exchange the situation and put that person in your shoes and felt the heart you know felt the harm felt the pain that you felt in the past i'm sure they would not even survive i'm sure they would complain i'm sure they would not even as strong as you because they're not authentic okay so now it's time for you to also pursue your happiness it's time for you not to waste your life worrying so much about what others might or might not think of you that you never live your life to the fullest because men secretly view you as someone that really want to be accepted by society. You don't need that. Let the society see you for who you are. And if it's meant to be in your life, they will stay. If not, you will find your tribe. You will find your group of people. 
either online or in physical life. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. You know, I truly find my people here on my channel. And I'm so thankful and grateful that I can be in your journey. And I'm so thankful that you guys supporting my channel by subscribing, by liking my video. Uh, by commenting, uh, by booking uh, personal reading, or even give me a tip. Thank you so much. All that. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. Um, and I'm so happy that I also can find my people here through my channel. And we can connect with each other through my channel here. And this is one of the way that the divine universe, angels, God, bless us with this community group number one you are too authentic to not let yourself fly high okay don't hide your opinions and beliefs to keep other people comfortable while you end up feeling fake and repressed in the expression of who you are not anymore after all, the worst that can happen is that someone disagree with you or decides to end the relationship, to end the friendship, to end the connection. But if someone doesn't respect or care about you enough, group number one, to let you be who you truly are, is it worth having them in your life anyway? I don't think so. Okay? So that's how also men secretly view you as someone that really... Um, have a lot of roles to play just to make other people happy now it's time for you to be happy to relax so make sure um find a way to relax including probably watching this video while you go to bed or enjoying your snack lunch dinner making dinner drinking uh coffee tea wine whatever it is okay i'm grateful i can accompany you uh, in your daily activities uh, by listening or watching my video. Do the things that make you happy and make sure you do it daily. Save money for solo trips, save money to buy new clothes, save money to get something that you want um, in this lifetime. Doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be big, but something that can make you smile. Group number one, you deserve it. Okay? You have also here the spy master. With the spy master, men secretly view you as someone that silently observe other people. You know, you become the spy master. You master the observation. You can be silent but observe people around you. You can be talkative but still observe people around you. The key about you that men secretly view is your ability to observe, ability to gain knowledge, ability not to easily trust people okay becoming the spy master you know try to find the information that they don't tell try to read between the lines you can truly read the room you can truly sense whether the people truly genuinely like you or not and truly feel whether you can be in a long-term relationship or not after um, you've been with someone for a couple of months you cannot you know get the sense of it and something like that so that's also how men secretly view you group number uh, one you're someone that you think knowledge is very expensive and knowledge is very valuable so you try to gain information and knowledge about the things that you love the most as well and this is about this trust so it's not easy to gain your trust for you trust need to be earned um and you're someone that not gonna just you know trust people um, especially when this person do not give positive vibes to you or motivation or good feelings um, that can come naturally to you. Group number one. You have also here the cat and lavender. 
you know this is a very cute some of you probably have cat um, or love feeding um, wild cat or identify yourself as having the cat personality you probably have dog but deep inside your heart you know you have also the soul uh, to love the cat the cat and lavender with this independence meanings that men secretly view you as someone that not afraid to stand alone you're not afraid to provide for yourself you're not afraid to pursue your dreams and desire and giving a lot of effort just by yourself you know what know that you're not alone please know that you're not alone you have your angels god heaven the divine um the universe okay they will conspire they will use everything and everyone around you to help you getting what you want in life as long as you claim it as long as you visualize it as long as you manifest it as long as you pray or meditate or think positive about it the thing that you want will seek you back men secretly view you as this independent person someone that truly have their own opinion someone that um a very elegant as well you really know how to appear elegant you really know how to respect other people so you're not gonna waste your precious time to enjoy your life if other people try to not respect you you know you feel that most of the time you are the one that did the, the homework you are the one that's uh, you know doing the respect first but you don't get the respect in return don't give it too much group number one okay don't give it too much trust need to be earned you know you can just be polite with people but the first sign of bs please put them where they are okay so make them realize that this is not acceptable treatment okay because if the position is exchanged you know they will not like it because you can do worse. You can walk other people worse. You can intimidate other people worse, you know, but you decided not to do that because you are so authentic, really want to respect people. But if sometime, you know, you need to be the one that stand up alone, stand up alone like this perfect, elegant cat. Sometimes men secretly view you, you as someone that is powerful. You have that power that unexplainable, but it just it, it's hard to shake your core. It's hard to shake your principle. You already so mature. You already know where to go to lead yourself to a better way, not to be this you know distract with a lot of things that is toxic. Okay, and they're gonna get their own karma. Believe me, they're gonna get their own lesson if they try to disrespect you if they try to mock you if they try to make you uncomfortable one day the lesson gonna come to them and if the universe let that happen if the universe let you see that you're gonna see that like the cat mm -hmm. so men secretly view you as this has this powerful house energy you know sooner or later you're gonna be in your throne when that time come, make sure you appreciate yourself even more. You have here Atar goddess with balance. And this is like the mermaid goddess. Okay. Let's put her over there for a while. Atar goddess is... the goddess from sumeria so this is sumerian goddess you know the first known mermaid in recorded history atar goddess men secretly view you as having this balance energy you really know how to balance your energy from masculine and feminine and you also have this siren or mermaid vibes that's mystery that sexiness but it's not out loud it's very quiet it's very calm but it's very potent okay Atar goddess is guiding you, group number one, to look for balance in your time, your environment, and within yourself. As a teacher, Atar goddess asks you to seek new ways to bring more balance and care into your life. Men secretly view you as someone that truly can be both beautiful and, um, you know, uh, 
divinely or graceful, you know, divinely beautiful, or also smart or hardworking. Regardless of your job, it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter your job. But you know, deep inside your heart, you're beautiful and you are worth it. And you deserve to be happy. So balance your hard work with fun sight. Balance your hard work with some time to rest, to, to have holiday or vacation. You know, or get your hair done, get your nail done, get in new clothes. Whatever it is that you want to have. Balance that energy because you deserve to be relaxed. You deserve to enjoy your life. Okay, because men secretly view you as a gorgeous person, as a very sexy and seductive person over here. You have here nine of cups. Oh, look at this again, cat. Wow. You have here the empress. You have here Six of Cups, the Moon, and the Hangman. Ouch, okay. You know what? Men secretly view you as a very gorgeous and creative person with the Empress over here. Um, you also someone that is so graceful and very creative, very gorgeous. Maybe you are also nurturing or a parent or a mother or a father yourself. Um, or you thinking about having kid in the future, or it's just you uh, producing a very creative a job, creative a project, or your attitude is just so creative. You also have your beauty, the beauty uh, that is just out of this world. You know, you are very lovely. So that's kind of like vibes, a lovely vibes coming from you, especially when the be authentic coming in conjunction with the Empress. You are so lovely, very genuinely love yourself, you know, and you want to experience love in this lifetime. With the Six of Cups, men secretly view you as their old childhood friends or their family member or the one that they, uh, they, the the one that treated them like family, you know, you reminded them of a childhood memories, you know, a very friendly person as well. With the Nine of Cups, this is again reminding you of that cat uh, personality again. Um, this is the communication from the universe letting me know that through this reading, through this video, the universe wants to let you know that um, you deserve happiness. This is talking about happiness. You deserve joy. You deserve uh, to uh, be optimistic and experience happiness in your life. So make sure you think also about yourself. And if you have to be independent, then do it. Okay? If uh, that costs your independence, if you need to be independent in order to pursue your desire, then do it. The moon over here, men secretly view you as a very intuitive person, someone that is mysterious, someone that is sexy. So moon has that goddess vibes, sexiness coming from you. That's what I feel with this group. And with the hangman, you know, you made their life um, hang around uh, 360 degrees. You, uh, you know, you steer their core. You can make them falling in love with you and think about you day and night. Okay? Unconsciously consciously then this is unconsciously so this is like in the astral realm in the spiritual world all right group number one that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video okay comment below uh, what do you think about this video and also uh please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and please make sure you click the notification bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching group number one and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye hi group number two welcome back to my channel back again with me princess tacha with new video if you are a returning subscriber welcome back guys so glad you back here with me and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and please make sure that you click the notification bell button so you will always be updated for new video group number two how do men secretly view you you have here love is in the air now please be mindful that this is a general reading so take what resonate okay but if you want private reading just for you please click the link in the description box below you can book me for your private reading group number two love is in the air
men secretly view you as someone that really, really know how to dress to impress really know how to appear very lovely they secretly view you as a very romantic person um, and very lovely you have a way about you that attract people naturally to you naturally due to your beauty due to your calmness due to your uh, vibes this is remind me of um, Aphrodite Aphrodite okay the goddess of love or Venus Group number two, with love is in the air, a man secretly view you um, as, uh, as a potential for a new romance that blossom or a potential to fit their ego or a potential to be their soulmate or twin flame regardless of your status and regardless of their status. It doesn't matter if you are in a committed relationship or single, or if they're single or already in a committed relationship. They feel that they're so attracted to you and your energy and your appearance, and it's just the way you move. It's just their type, one of their type, you know? And um, they love being in your energy, they love communicating with you they love being in touch with you because um everything about you is very feminine or you have this divine feminine energy very feminine i feel with this group men secretly view you as love that love is all around you group number two you are being encompassed group number two by an aura of tenderness and warmth so men secretly view you as a very warm person and very tender very lovely the existing connections in your life are also able to regain their passion at this point men secretly view you as a source of inspiration as a source of passion and a source of desire Group number two, you are being led to act from a place of love and compassion, showing those around you how much you care about them. But don't feel like this is a one-sided affair because I feel that men really appreciate you. Men secretly view you as a very beautiful person, um, someone that they truly love to be in their life, whatever the status that you guys have with this man. But they just love having you around as either as a friend, platonic relationship, potential romantic connection, or even business relationship. Now with this card, reciprocity is a crucial element represented with this card. So men secretly view you as someone that can reciprocate their feelings really well. You really know how to say thank you. You really know how to treat other people with kindness. You really know how to um, entertain men or even just make them feel accepted for who they are as a person. You know, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and explore love can be intimidating at times, group number two. But after all, nobody likes rejection and heartbroken. Know that you are lovable and adored by those you care about because men secretly view you as very adorable. You have that cute, adorable, regardless of your age and your fashion style, it doesn't matter. You sometimes can wear pants, hot pants, short sneakers, but you still have this lovely present about you. Lovely vibes, you know, a rainbow, colorful energy. It's just very cheerful and very joyful, regardless of what is going on in your life right now. You have that energy, the energy that makes other people really want to be around you. Now, you're being um, told by the universe through this message that you got admirers than you expected. You got more admirers, group number two, than you expected. Men secretly view you as their secret admirer. You got secret admirer from this man. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, 
these men are watching you you know waiting for the right moment to approach you group number two whether you are committed to another person or enjoying life in your own company permit yourself group number two to feel attractive and flirtatious okay you want to feel attractive you want to feel feel precious you know you want to feel seductive but that's you so regardless of your status permit yourself to enjoy the joy of feeling attractive because that's you men really secretly view you as a very attractive highly attractive person okay regardless of your fashion style you have a way about you to be very attractive if you want to if you don't want it you don't have to worry about it group number two you have here the dancer some of you you literally love dancing okay you love dancing you love expressing yourself through dancing and you don't have to work as a professional dancer you can just you can just dance around by yourself or with your family with your friends um, to the music, you know, in the bathroom, in your bedroom, at your home, or in the club, nightclub, or you work in the nightclub, you know, you have that dancer vibes. Very flirty, very gorgeous, very lovely. You have a way about you to express yourself, and you show strength through your mind, through your attitude, through the way you see the world and your challenges. So men secretly view you as a very seductive dancer or have that kind of like persona, like a dancer, an entertainer, a very creative person, very alluring as well, okay? Men also secretly view you as a very strong person, especially when we're talking about your life lesson. Some men here already know what you've been through in the past and they I really respect you for that because how you respond to your situation and how you actually come back again um, after falling so many times or your attitude of never give up and uh, tr truly show your joy to the people around you and willing to share that happiness that joy that make them feel very comfortable in your energy so regardless of their status you know maybe they already married maybe they already in a committed relationship or even single it doesn't matter your energy is the source of happiness for them and that's how men secretly view you you know you are a true entertainer and it's just not limiting yourself to the dancer but you can be a content creator a sugar baby an entertainer a musician a singer or have a side gig in the entertainment industry or even have a uh, vibes about you that you really know how to make other people happy you really know how to comfort other people you really know how to cheer other up you know or make other people smile so it's not limited to men but men secretly view you as having this dancer because the dancer is someone that truly entertaining they also have this ability to express themselves really well and a very creative person very creative especially when the dancer is with love is in the air letting me know that yes you have that move you have that sexy vibes again okay, group number two you have also here this salamander and black pepper with inspiration wow this is like synchronicities from the universe because i talk about inspiration earlier but yes your vibes your body your face your presence is truly such an inspiration for other people and men secretly view you as their source of inspiration you know your beauty truly amazed them your natural beauty and how you treat yourself so make sure you treat yourself kindly being kind to yourself pamper yourself because that will attract positive energy that will make other people even adore you more if you want that if you don't want that you don't have to worry about it group number two but with 
being with doing self-love okay with pampering yourself with doing the activities that you love you truly respect yourself and show appreciation to yourself and in return you become this magnet of um, love the magnet of positive vibrations and that's what we're talking when we get love is in the air group and you if you don't feel that way right now you will achieve that moment by doing whatever um, that makes you happy that bring positive vibration into your life you know sometimes it is so worth it to fight for ourselves to be happy and do the things that we want to do in our life and make ourselves smile because then people feel comfortable around us people feel happy because they know that we are happy you know happy people is very contagious happiness is very contagious and how you can actually influence the room with your happiness is divine and when you do like that you know the people that feel intimidated with your energy they cannot say anything they can't help but being just the outsider wishing that you could not be happy but don't let that happen pamper yourself protect yourself love yourself because love is in the air also for you group number two Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to close the door. I feel that as well with this group. Men secretly view you as someone that a little bit spicy at times with the black pepper. Because you got this salamander and black pepper. You can be spicy. And that makes things interesting. <laughs> okay? And when I'm talking about men, this could be men uh, in the office, in school, in your neighborhood, at the gym, or uh, your potential romantic interest or your secret admirer. Okay? You have also here Aphrodite. Ooh, wait a second. Yes. We talk about this. It, yes. Wow, thank you, universe. Thank you. So with this card, Aphrodite, Aphrodite is a goddess from Greek, the Greek goddess. This is the symbol of passion. So men secretly view you as, a, as Aphrodite, the goddess of passion, love, and sexiness. Okay, okay? Look the way that she dresses. She covers her body, um, but she still has a way about her to attract attention, especially men, and that's you. You don't have to be the one that um, achieve a lot of great things. You don't have to be the one that scream out loud. You can just be yourself, being very magical, being very feminine, you know, and still attract the attention. And in fact, that's the thing that they need in their life. That's actually the one that they crave. They really crave an uprooted, a goddess, a love, someone that is so lovely. And that's you. That's how you truly shine from the crowd. How you actually can be stand out from the crowd is by being feminine in order to attract masculine energy. Now, if you prefer feminine energy, then you can be masculine in order to attract feminine energy. But this group, I feel that you are dominant with your feminine as a comparison with group number one, that leaning more toward balance energy, you know, between masculine and feminine. But I feel that with this group, your feminine power is very positive time is very strong is very dominant and just use that to get what you want to be the best version of yourself to attract the one that you love and to be the center in the room if you don't want that you don't have to worry about it group number two but this knowledge it's it is important to know that you are worth it it is important to know that you have these positive qualities you know and that's my goal for my channel you know to remind you that you are worth it that you are beautiful and i just want to say thank you group number two i want to say thank you for everyone that always support my channel by subscribing to my channel um liking my video comment on my video booking um personal reading or even give me tip thank you for all the support because that really helped my channel to grow and i'm so grateful that i can also be in your journey group number two 
you have here the lovers no wonder <laughs> you have the magician very strong you have queen of cups yes yes you have ten of pentacles and you have eight of cups with the eight of cups i feel that people or a man secretly view you as a very generous person someone that is also smart because it is tentacle and there's this shifting there's this energy changing they truly see your change from the past you know you've um you have this 180 or 360 degree change in your attitude in the way that you see yourself you know they truly feel there's this shifting energy of you becoming more lovable becoming uh, more positive and being more optimistic in the way that you see yourself the lovers again love is in the air coming in conjunction with the lovers over here letting me know that yes men truly adore you they really secretly view you as their romantic partner or potential romantic partner really inspire union you also bring harmony okay there's this harmony that you bring especially to the romantic connection when we're getting the card of the lovers yes men feel some sort of sexual attraction or romantic attraction to you regardless of your status and regardless of their status they want to admit that they adore you that they see you as such a lovely person and they don't mind if their destiny is having you in their life and if they have to have second life or whatever reincarnation or um, past life you know they wish they could have you as their partner so they fantasize about you that's possibility for some of you please be mindful again that this reading is general reading this reading is more about how do men secretly view you and not necessarily defining who you are as a person the magician and queen of cups they truly see you as a very creative person uh, you are so skillful in your career study hobby or your beauty you have that skill and power to take action towards your dream a very positive person a feminine person but you really know when to act this is very strategic strategic person i can truly relate with this group okay if i have to pick my group this is gonna be my group so hello my group <laughs> my fellow group number two um the magician is my favorite card in the tarot deck because the magician is someone that truly is so mature really can use everything and always think positive and in the end you know god the divine angels the universe making it good making it good for you in the end it's always like that when it's not working out it will work out in the end or it's just not meant to be and you will get better you will get better partner you will get better opportunities you know use everything to gain more knowledge about yourself about your power about your skill about your strength and in the end that's the secret recipe to always winning Whenever I got something that I don't like, you know, I always see that as my opportunity to learn about my resilience, my strength, my love towards myself, and how I can stand up for my own, you know. And then in the end, it's actually bring me closer to my dreams. It actually give me some sort of knowledge and um, a weapon for the future, you know. The knowledge is actually the weapon in how you shape your future because you should learn from your experiences. And by only have those experiences, you can learn for real life experiences okay so that's the magician power they also the master of manifester so i feel that men secretly view you as someone that achieve some or a lot of big beautiful things or even small things but still very wonderful because they truly know that you love that that you want to achieve that and you got that and they kind of mm, wait a second so this person not just carry some sort of emotional connection but this person also skillful in their craft this person also powerful in their thoughts you know it is so hard to make this person feel insecure because they know deep inside their heart that they the source of love that they are love okay the queen of cups you have that creativity that intuition that's what men secretly view you uh, because again the card of queen of cups is talking about compassion about you being very creative being very gorgeous and beautiful queen of cups is very beautiful in their feminine energy okay in their divine feminine power and that's you group number 
too. You also have here the Ten of Pentacles. You inspire people to treat you better, to pamper you. You inspire this man, the man secretly view you as um, wifey material, hubby material, someone that become permanent partner material. That's why they really also want to collaborate with you, working together with you, create some sort of creative project or just work in the office, doing assignment in school or even help you with your chores or even becoming the source of inspiration or even inspire the feeling of family, you know, becoming part of your life, uh, being treated like family. So they love that. They secretly view you as someone that used to live with them in the past, either as a best friend, as a lover, a past crush, a secret admirer, or even, uh, you know, past hubby or past hubby. You truly have what it takes to be a great potential partner for them. And that's uh, one of the things that they secretly view you group number two all right group number two that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to my channel and please make sure that you click the notification bell button all right group number two thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye hi group number three welcome back to my channel back again with me princess taicha with a new video for this video let's find out how do men secretly feel you now if you are a returning subscriber welcome back guys i'm so glad to have you back here and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and also please make sure that you click the notification bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me group group number three my group number three <laughs> how do men secretly feel you you have know your worth i love this because this is like the beautiful peacock feathers wow and i love that she has been surrounded by coins gorgeous wings beautiful jewelry and just majestic peacock dress okay all right now please be mindful that this is a general reading so take what resonates group number three but if you want private reading just for you please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading you know right off the bat group number three with the know your worth men secretly view you as someone that really beautiful especially your appearances is very eccentric very unique you really know how to be the trendsetter and i feel that for this group you are the trendsetter in the room you always want to wear something trendy a branded you know don't get me wrong i love that too okay no judgment over here on my channel everyone deserves to be happy in their own way and you find happiness through your style you find happiness by getting your hair done getting your nail done being pretty uh, using a lot of uh, perfume or using beautiful makeup um, regardless of your gender you really know how to dress to impress the room some of you become this prom king prom queen homecoming queen homecoming king becoming this goddess okay everyone admire your beauty you have a way about you to mix and match your fashion style you really know how to dress to impress without you having to use a lot of brand even for some of you you already look very sophisticated you have a way about you to dress elegantly okay group number three it's time to let go of doubts Mm -hmm. men secretly view you as a very confident person but deep inside your heart you know sometimes you still doubt yourself so the message of this card is time to let go of your doubts you know it's time to stop questioning yourself remind yourself of who you are you are beautiful you are strong you are independent and brave human being who has worked hard to get to this very moment in life don't allow difficult situations group number three to change the way you see yourself because men secretly view you as a very uh, source of inspiration even for them they really admire how you treat yourself how you never give up and now it's time for you to see who you are as the real who you are a very strong independent beautiful person or handsome person that you already are don't let difficult situation again change the way you see yourself because you deserve the love that you get you know 
the love that you get that you can give to yourself you deserve the love that you give to other people as well group number three men secretly view you as someone that can celebrate other people and let me remind you that you always celebrate yourself as well and not just celebrating other people you deserve to have some sort of celebration you deserve some sort of vacation you deserve some sort of rewards you deserve it all okay you deserve it all you work so hard and I can feel from this group even from the card did you pay attention to this card she seems like she have it all. She seems like she has it all. You look like someone that you have it all, group number three. You have all the ducks in a row. You have managed your obligations. You have balanced your energy. You work so hard that sometimes you feel overwhelmed. Men secretly view you as beautiful person. As the queen of the show, as the king of the show. But I can feel you through this card, through this reading, that you are tired. You are tired of working so hard. Now it's time for you to reward yourself. Doesn't have to be expensive. But if it's expensive, go for it. It's okay to spend money on yourself sometimes. There's this coin money symbol over here. Look at this. One, two, three. I get a lot of money here. It means that you deserve that for yourself. You deserve the pamper. You deserve to pamper yourself. Yes, you always be there for other people and that's how men secretly view you. You know your worth because you're so worth it, because you're so valuable. Even men secretly view you as a very valuable person, worth their time, worth their attention, worth to wait. It's time for you to be relaxed, to take a break, to regroup, to enjoy your alone time and appreciate yourself even more. The happier you are, the more you are attractive from the outside, group number three. And I know that you know your worth because that's what men secretly view you. They also secretly view you as someone that always think that you are not enough, but you more than enough. You are a perfectionist person, whether it's a teacher telling you that you are not intelligent or hardworking enough, a friend or family member who made you feel like you had to accept their emotional abuse, or a lover who made you feel like there was something wrong with you. When these experiences happen repeatedly, we can tend to blame ourselves, group number two, instead of understanding that we need to level up. The type of people who make you feel inferior is simply not your crowd. Your tribe is still out there. Your tribe is among you. Your tribe is here, including my channel, including the community that we built together. So I just want to say thank you, group number three. Thank you for all of your support because we built this channel together. You help my channel to grow by subscribing to my channel, by liking my video, by commenting on my video, giving a command to my video, giving me a tip or book a personal reading through me. That's all helped my channel to grow. And I'm so grateful that I can be in your journey, creating this community for us to support each other and be the source of positive vibration in our life. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for you, group number three. I know your worth, group number three. You're so valuable and may you know your worth because you deserve to experience joyful life that can only your soul can give it to you if you want it group number three if you claim it group number three you have also here the thief this is very interesting because this is also showing us coins and this is also has a lot of coins or pentacles energy I feel that this group, you have a mission in life to truly attract abundance in your life, to experience abundance, 
to practice law of attraction or to try it, to practice law of assumptions or to try it, to try positive vibration, positive thoughts that always in your mind and see how it truly change your life. The thief, men secretly view you as someone that can truly steal the attention. You have the ability to enjoy the moment. You have the selfishness about you, but you share what you have, you know. You share what you have, you share your resources, you make the energy of the abundance flowing. You really know how to steal the attention and sometimes it can make other people feel intimidated by you, but not men. Men truly see that you are gorgeous, that you are beautiful. You have your own way to attract the attention, very sexy and seductive in your own way, very brilliant, very intelligent as well with this group, very intelligent. Men love talking to you. Men secretly view you as a very interesting person. They love uh, getting to know you better. They love talking about different things with you because you have this knowledge you have these experiences you have this personality that make other people really want to talk you again and again and again <laughs> are listening to you again and again okay and at, at the same time you are a great listener yourself okay you are a great listener you're willing to listen to other people and not just becoming the center of attention but in return they see your worth yes okay You have the turtle and coriander. With the turtle and coriander, there is this um, delay satisfaction, delay gratification that you have in life. But then when the time is right, you know, some of you already experienced it or going to experience it again and again. But you are such a hardworking person like the turtle. And in the end, you're going to feel satisfied because you got the card of satisfaction over here. And men secretly view you as a very hardworking person. You're not going to give up no matter how slow you move, no matter how hard it takes. You're going to achieve what you got in life. You're going to achieve what you dream of. Yes, you're going to get that satisfaction. And men secretly view you as someone that feels satisfied with your own life, with your own progress at this moment. And they're so satisfied as well, looking how far you have gone. Truly, group number three, you've gone so far from in the past. Absolutely. You have also the card of Nyai Loro Kidul with transcendence. This is um, the goddess from Indonesia, from Javanese, okay, from Java Sea. Um, and she's the queen of the mermaid, Nyai Loro Kidul. You have that beauty. Men secretly view you as having this very seductive beauty. Look at this all green color over here. This is symbol of prosperity, of beauty, of earth energy and water energy. Some of you probably have water or earth sign in your birth chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Mid, Heaven, North, North, South, North, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, you know that's possible. If not, then you're still being influenced with this energy. With this card, Nyai Loro Kidul, it reminds me that um, that I talked about this before in the beginning of the reading that you're actually very worth it, very valuable. You know, Nyai Loro Kidul is the queen of the mermaid, the first mermaid from Java Island you know, the queen of the mermaid. She's very beautiful. She has that royal regal presence about her. You know, she's the queen. And she has a way about her to talk with other people, to treat other people with respect. And that's you. That's how men secretly view you. They see you as having this royal, elegant, expensive look, even though you don't wear a brand. Even though you don't wear a lot of expensive things, you make things very elegant if you wear it. If you are the one that wear it, group number uh, three. You know, and when I see this peacock in conjunction with Nyai Loro Kido, I see nothing but luxury. 
I see nothing but a queen vibes. This is truly powerful queen vibes, and that's you. So don't let other people tell you otherwise. Know your worth. You are the queen and king of your life. Men secretly view you as a queen and king. You have that queen and king vibes. You have this leadership skill because Nyai Loro Kidul is the leader. She's the queen. She's the leader. You also have a way about you helping people in need. It's very generous as well. Men secretly view you as a very abundant person because you are so generous. And in return, that attract more abundance in your life. Group number three. Yes, beautiful, right? You also have here six of wands. You have the Mother Star. You have the Queen of Swords. You have a Page of Wands and you have the Four of Wands. You know, with the Mother Star, you're like the power house over here. You know, you're more powerful than the Magician and the Star combined because you are the Mother Star. The Mother Star has the element of cup, swords pentacle and ones over here okay the mother star really know how to use the resources around her this is like the magician card but even more powerful this is the extra card and there's the card of yes yes over here look yes yes you are beautiful men secretly view you as the mother star someone that is nurturing but also someone that is so attractive popular fame beautiful okay beautiful men also secretly view you as someone that is so creative your creativity is limitless you really know how to use the situation to win in the game because you got also the six of ones you really know how to win you play to win this is the card of victory. This is the card of glory, a triumph. So men secretly view you as someone that is win in life. You win their heart. You win their attention regardless of their status. Maybe they're already married. Maybe they're already in a committed relationship. Maybe they're single. It doesn't matter. You win their heart. You got their respect. That's how men secretly view you as a very victorious person has this glory now it's no wonder that the six of one this is crown look at this and this is also crown look at this this is same energy this is the communication from the universe through this video letting you know that in the near future or in the future you're gonna win the things that you want the most when you claim it when you manifest it when you think positive about it and try your best giving a lot of effort to it Giving a lot of effort is same like giving positive vibration as well. But don't forget to think positive about yourself. And you really know how to be the thief in the situation. Yes! How to use the intimidation. How to use the people that jealous you. You use that opportunity to let them know that you are shining. That you are beautiful. Use that opportunity to love yourself. Use that opportunity to make you pamper yourself. To prioritize your need. Know your worth. Don't let other people insecurities uh, making you stopping to stopping loving yourself. You know, stop loving yourself. Don't stop. Never stop loving yourself. Keep loving yourself. Keep prioritizing yourself. Keep doing and leveling up if you want it. If you don't want it, you don't have to worry about it. Group number three. Because you are the six of ones. People sometimes can't help but feel a little bit jealous with your winning. It's just because they feel that you need to give up, but you don't want to give up because you experienced lack in the past. You experienced where other people didn't want to fight for you, so you promised to yourself that you're going to fight for yourself. The Queen of Swords, you have this strength to put your mind into something, to have ambition, to pursue your ambition, to seek the truth. Okay, so that's how I got from you.
Page of Wands. You bring good news into vibration, into relationship. Men secretly view you as someone um, that is very uh, full of excitement, someone that really good with communication. Uh, they love talking to you. They love texting you. They love calling you or they just love talking to you about different things. You know, they also see you as, a, as someone that, uh, you know, you're very excited. You're full of excitement and you are so excited of your life as well, group number three. That's how I feel. Men secretly view you as um, someone with the fire energy, page of wands, a passion. So some of you probably have fire energy as well in your birth chart, Arias, Leo, Sagittarius, especially probably um, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Okay. Four of Wands, you inspire stability. You want to make other people unite with you. You inspire a union. You become the foundation of a very strong union. Men truly secretly view you as a potential partner, as an ideal partner. You are so creative as well in relationships. So this is about you being very creative your, with your date ideas, romantic date ideas, a very romantic person as well, and someone that give freedom with other people freely. So men feel very free around you. They can be themselves. They secretly view you as someone that can give freedom. So they will not uh, feel being trapped by you or they will not think that you put them on in the cage but you inspire freedom, four of ones. But then in return, they want to give you that stability of connection, regardless of your status with this man right now. Okay? All right, group number three, that show reading for today. Please give me thumbs up, okay? Please like this video. If you love this content, group number three, uh, please subscribe to my channel and please make sure you click the notification bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me. Uh, please click the link in the description box below to give me tip or book reading uh, with me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much, group number three, and bye-bye.